What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve Natto. I want to thank you guys all for stopping by the video today. As you guys know, with my channel here, my goal is to always help you guys out at the end of the day, kind of decide which sneakers are right for you. By the way of me showing you guys all the best new sneakers that I'm able to pick up, I share them with you guys here on YouTube on drop day as soon as possible. So if I helped you guys out today, you know, let me know in the comments down below and be sure to hit that subscribe button down below as well. As you can see though, we have today's brand new release. This is the Air Jordan 14 Gym Red, which was a very surprising drop. It dropped earlier this morning on a Thursday, like I said, and it completely sold out. It was a very difficult shoe to get. Not many stores actually had this in hand. Um, a store by me did have it, so I was able to grab it and pick it up. I'm really glad I was able to. Like I said, it sold out really quick, but um, a shoe that I guess a lot of people are really going after. It's a very nice looking shoe, but again, a Jordan 14 model and this model as a whole, you know, isn't always the most popular Jordan retro, but for whatever reason, you know, people are really, really going after this. I think it looks like a very, very nice sneaker. You know, the black, white, and red, you really can't go wrong with those Chicago colors. The box is also really nice. There's tons to show you guys about this shoe, so I'm really excited to dive in and take a look at it. So if you guys have any questions along the way, you know, let me know in the comments down below, or actually you guys can let me know in the description down below. I have a link to my Discord server. I'm very active over there. I have literally hundreds of people interacting, talking over there, talking sneakers all day. If you guys want to join that and just join the conversation, you know, feel free to check that link out in the description down below. But otherwise, let's go and start checking out this Air Jordan 14 Gym Red. Like I said, retail price of 190 bucks, dropped earlier this morning, and a very, very nice shoe. So let's go and start checking it out. So here we are, guys, up close and in hand with the brand new Air Jordan 14 Gym Red. People are also calling these the Toro Jordan 14 as well, so it has a few different names, but you guys know what I'm talking about. It did drop earlier this morning. For the box, as you guys can see here, it's a red box all around. And then on the size tag, we have Air Jordan 14 Retro in black, gym red, white, and off-white for that retail price of 190 bucks. This is a typical Jordan box that we've seen on Jordan 13s pretty recently. It just has that imprint at the top with the Jumpman. But this box is entirely red, like I mentioned, so it's a nice touch playing along with the story of the shoe. But then, as we can see for the shoe itself, we start taking a look at the lateral side with the classic Jordan 14 silhouette here. And starting down at the midsole and outsole, you can see black, white, and a little bit of red towards the back going all throughout and continuing around the patterns here. You know, this crazy midsole design for the Air Jordan 14 leading up to a really nice suede toe box, which is very, very nice quality in hand. You know, this is a very well done shoe, you know, all said and done. Then we take a look at this very nice upper in this entire red color leading all the way up to the Jumpman on the side. Um, the back heel does get a little taller for that classic Jordan 14 heel cup, but we'll take a look at that around the back of the shoe in a little bit here. This is going to round out the lateral side of the shoe and again, just looks very, very clean. Onto the front of the shoe now, hopefully get you guys a better look at that toe box. Again, really nice. You have black rounding out the very top of the toe, kind of connecting underneath to the outsole, but then moving on to the toe box itself. Again, you can see that really nice suede. We have a white jump man stitched on top. Same on both sneakers here, leading up to that black tongue with the black laces, and then the red upper material splitting the tongue going around to either side. But then as we move further up the tongue, we can see you know the perforations on the tongue, the lace holes going all the way up that black tongue leading to the very top. We have Jordan written in red. Again, the same on both sneakers here with little red on the uh, end pieces there rounding out the tongue. Next now, if we check out the medial side of the sneaker, again, just very clean, really nice looking shoe. We start down at the toe box here. You can see we have some white wrapping around for the midsole, kind of reaching around to the toe box. You know, the split kind of opposite designs here in terms of the color. And then we move to that really nice red upper. Hopefully you guys can see that if I get a little bit closer, the material there is very nice, you know, solid red stitching all the way around, keeping consistent with the colors and design. And then the rest of the midsole is white, going up over this middle piece. As we get a little bit closer there, you can see some more designs underneath, keeping consistent with the Air Jordan 14 model here, wrapping all the way around to the back heel with a little piece of red at the very back. Then onto the back heel itself, you know, the iconic Jordan 14 back heel here. As you can see, we got the Jumpman in white, the 23 really stretched out in white as well over top. The black material above that is a little bit of kind of white gray um, stitching right above that with some black lining above that. Behind the tongue, we can take a peek there and see the 14 and the Roman numerals on the back of both tongues. And then moving back to the back heel, we move a little bit further down. We got black, the little pieces of red around the white midsole, you know, the cool little designs that they have included there in terms of the styling. And then as we move back out, you know, the iconic design yet again. 
Next up here, moving overhead, you can get a look at what the sneakers look like as you would look down. Uh, one thing to mention before we go inside the shoe is the laces here. Jordan not messing around here. They have these premium lace tips right there with the Jordan logo um, kind of etched in there. You know, these silver, really nice metallic uh, lace tips, the same on both sneakers here with these laces in black. And then as we move inside the sneaker, again, we got that black inner lining. We have a black insole with a red Jumpman printed on top, we'll get it to focus in there. You guys can see the size tag as well. Um, and then down on the inner piece, you can see the medial side where there's a little see-through pocket um, of that kind of mesh material that I mentioned before. And then moving further inside the shoe, we can take a look at the back of the tongue. Again, we got the 14 Roman numeral and then the size tag right behind the tongue itself. We'll get a full shot of those numbers and the information there. Lastly, now we can check out the outsole. And again, you know, the classic iconic Air Jordan 14 outsole. We got a little bit of white transitioning to black. We got the herringbone traction, red Jumpman in the middle, all the way up to the toe with the 14 Roman numerals at the pressure point in the front of the foot. Same thing on the other sneaker. As we zoom out, you can see the full shot of the outsole. And now finally, what a lot of you guys have been waiting for, the on feet of the Air Jordan 14 Gym Red. I'm gonna get these laced up, give you guys a few different styling options and take a full look at these on feet. So let's go. And now there we have it guys for the Air Jordan 14 Gym Red Toro on feet. So these things are actually really, really nice after taking a look at them in hand and check them out on feet. They, they're just a clean looking, very nice sneaker. And I think if there's one thing to kind of take from this video here, it's that Jordan brand is not slowing down anytime soon. The past few weeks have been pretty dominated by Jordan in terms of really good just Jordan releases. You know, we got the Air Jordan 11 Concord Bread that happened recently, the Hair 6s, Top 5 Jordan 3s you know, uh, DMP sixes, five red fives all not too long ago. There were just plenty of releases and you would think people would kind of get tired of them, but they just keep pumping out really good models that people just like and they're in somewhat limited quantity. So whatever the formula, Jordan is doing a lot to, you know, make sure people are buying their sneakers and here we are. So this one nonetheless still just looks very, very nice. I thought it looks great on feet and you really can't beat 
the red, black, and white colorway, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But if we start breaking down the sneaker, if I give you guys a little bit more specifics on the shoe here, this is the Air Jordan 14 in terms of the model. It's an okay shoe right out of the box in terms of comfort. It definitely takes some time to kind of um, get used to and break in, in my opinion. You know, I think over some time, it does get a bit more comfortable. But right out of the box, it is definitely a little stiff. Otherwise, you know, you guys saw the on feet. It looks really good. It's obviously a different kind of shape than other Air Jordan retros, but it's one that definitely works and is really cool. And in terms of the fit, I do recommend just going true to size. It's, you know, pretty standard, similar to other Air Jordan retros and true to size, you know, should be good for you guys. Other than that, you know, I think it is just a really good shoe. Like I said, you know, there's been plenty of Air Jordan retros that have come out recently. I like it a lot. The colorway is good. So in my opinion, it's going to get a good rating. So let's talk about that now. The final rating and opinion on a scale out of 10. For that number, I think I'm going to give these a 9 out of 10. There is really, you know, not much wrong with these. It's an awesome looking shoe, one that was a bit limited, kind of just popped out of nowhere and just decided to release on a Thursday here. Whatever the case, you know, I'm certainly glad I was able to grab them. They are a really, really nice shoe. And hopefully if you guys are looking to grab them, you know, you can too. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. You know, let me know in the comments down below if it did and, you know, what um, information you guys are looking for in future videos. Otherwise, if you guys want to chat with me further, you know, feel free to check the link in the description down below to that Discord server that I was talking about. Tons of free information and guides all around sneakers for you guys to check out, as well as a way to chat with me and chat with others about sneakers kind of all day long. So I want to thank you guys all for stopping by the video. I really do appreciate it. Again, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well if this video helped you guys out. And uh, I think I'll catch you guys real soon on the next video.